In this video, we are going to take a look at this stunning example of the Northern Marine 78. This is the sort of long range trawler style explorer yacht that you can imagine beating through big seas thousands of miles away from the nearest land. A true long range explorer yacht that can operate in almost all weather conditions as you venture towards parts of the world which are still untouched by humanity. Washington-based Northern Marine currently has six Explorer Yacht models, including the 57 raised pilot house, the 64 raised pilot house, the 70 expedition yacht, the 80 raised pilot house, the 80 tri-deck, the 85 tri-deck, and the 100 Tri-Deck Expedition Yacht. This Northern Marine 78 was built in 2003. She has a length overall of 23.5 meters, a beam of 6.6 .6 meters, and a draft of two meters. She is made from GRP. Stay tuned because in this video, we will be checking out her engine room and of course, her pilot house. This is just a very quick reminder to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It takes less than two seconds and I really appreciate it. Some of the features I love about this Explorer yacht include the high bow, which is superbly sculptured for taking on those big seas. I'm also a big fan of the Portuguese bridge that enables anyone lucky enough to voyage on Endurance to get quick and ready access to the foredeck and the port and starboard side deck. I love the commercial looking radar mast, which has enough room for three radars, as well as all of the SSB aerials. The boat deck on the Northern Marine 78 is also a great size. But which are your favorite features? Let me know in the comments. I also really like the blue flashes on the hull. Endurance is fitted with a hydraulic, EZ3500EX heavy duty crane. The large boat deck also provides easy access to the vessel's flybridge. To starboard of the access to the flybridge, Northern Marine have also fitted its barbecue and wet bar area. It's also worth pointing out that the radar mast can actually be lowered, reducing the air draft by around four meters. With the tender off the boat, I can just imagine using this large boat deck for entertaining guests. Endurance also has a total of three docking stations positioned around the vessel, one on each port and starboard wing, as well as one in the cockpit. The cockpit itself is reminiscent of a vessel that is just as well suited to big following seas as she is to taking on the big swells with a large flared bow. When it comes to her accommodation, Endurance has four cabins comprising an owner's cabin and three ensuite guest cabins. She has a total of nine berths. Having spent five years at sea on several warships, when it comes to accommodation, anything is better than sharing a mess deck with 30 other sailors. But I understand that the accommodation area on this vessel may not be to everyone's liking. But, of course, when you acquire a boat, it is quite easy to change the decor of the accommodation areas. Before we take a look inside the engine room and pilot's house, let's take a quick look inside the saloon and galley. Upon entering the cosy saloon, you are met with a spacious and clutter-free living space. The oval windows give almost a regal feel to this area. Looking forward, we find a large TV nestled into some handmade bespoke cabinetry. Meanwhile, to starboard, there's a large dining table with a galley also located on the starboard side. Access to the accommodation area is via a stairwell to port and another port stairwell opposite the galley leads up to the pilot's house.
The U-shaped fully equipped galley has a double sink, an electric four burner cooker, a fridge freezer, a dishwasher and a waste compactor. And now let us take a look inside two of my favourite places aboard any vessel. Of course that's the engine room and the pilot's house. Endurance is fitted with a single 600 horsepower Cummins KT19M diesel engine. This gives the vessel a top speed of 12 knots with a cruising speed of 8.5 knots. When motoring along at a cruising speed, then you can expect a range of around 4,250 nautical miles. She's also fitted with a bow and stern thruster. The pilot's house has five interchangeable flat screens and is kitted out with a traditional Simrad depth sounder but also has a Furuno forward looking echo sounder with automated tracking. She has two fully independent Simrad AP20 also pilot systems for extra safety and peace of mind. She also has two Furuno radars with a 96 mile range and a smaller Simrad radar system. Behind the helm station is an L shaped seating area with a watch keeping berth that can be curtained off as and when needed. This is the first Northern Marine that I have featured on my YouTube channel. I really like her traditional trawler like lines and how much space there is. This is a boat that I would be more than happy to take across the Atlantic even during the winter months. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and remember if you have got access to a boat that you would like me to feature on my YouTube channel and get in contact with me using the links in the video description. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to give the video a like because it means that more people on YouTube will get to see it. Also, I'd like to thank my friends over at Devolk Yacht Brokers for letting me use their video footage and images to put this video together. If you live in any of these areas and are thinking of selling your boat, don't hesitate to get in touch with me via my email address or social media accounts. As ever, I'd like to thank my channel members for supporting me as I grow my YouTube channel. If you'd like to become a channel member, which is basically YouTube's version of Patreon, then click on the join button that you'll find on my YouTube channel or follow the link in the video description. Please don't forget to check out my other videos and playlists. The video recommendation in the top left hand part of the screen is one of my videos that YouTube thinks you will love. So until next time, Fair winds and following seas.